everyone. My name is Dr. Shakir Tabrez. I am a senior consultant urologist, andrologist, and transplant surgeon, part of Team Urology, Fortis Hospitals, Bangalore. Let's talk about laparoscopy. The trend worldwide is to move from open surgical techniques which involve a big incision and a big scar, long-term hospitalization, to smaller incisions and laparoscopy. Laparoscopy as opposed to open surgery or a large incision has just three one centimeter incisions through which a camera is inserted and through two or three other ports instruments are inserted and what is done in an open surgical procedure the technique is replicated exactly through just three one centimeter incisions. Now this can be used to treat benign conditions like a swelling in the kidney because there is an obstruction in the passage. This is called a PUJ obstruction. The surgery to treat this is called a pyeloplasty where the passage is repaired and reconnected so that there is continuous flow of urine without obstruction. This can happen from a baby up to a very old adult. This is just one procedure from benign conditions to cancer and malignant conditions where the kidney or part of the kidney or a bladder or the prostate, <clears throat> all of this can be tackled efficiently through laparoscopy. Laparoscopy as such is wonderful, but what makes it even better is the advent of three dimension in laparoscopy. We all wear glasses like we wear in the movie theaters and it's not just for how beautiful it looks, but the advantage I get as a surgeon. When we are looking at the image through 3D laparoscopy, the arteries and veins and the structures are so much more clearer. So lesser chance of damage, lesser chance of surgical errors or accidents and more specific surgery where there is decreased blood loss, faster surgical time, hence the patient benefit from all this. 3D laparoscopy is here to stay and it gives us so many benefits and I'm sure we will go a long way with this procedure.